let's look at one more proof uh, of trigonometry of solving trig equation so uh, this is a proof prove that the general solution if tan theta is equal to tan alpha then theta is n pi plus alpha where n belongs to z uh, z or z is a set of integers where integers are all the negative integers say from infinity to negative 1 negative 2 negative 1 0 1 2 and all the positive in uh, integers so z is a set of all positive integers 0 and the negative integers so what they're saying is if you can write tan theta as tan alpha then theta would be n pi of course pi is really pi is 180 degree okay so let me also write pi means pi rads or pi radians we don't write rads it's pi is understood to be in radians is 180 degrees okay then n is okay and n belongs to z so let's get started so we know that if we can express tan theta as tan alpha we want to prove this so i'm going to write this as sine theta over cos theta is equal to oops this should be alpha this should be alpha so this is equal to sine alpha over cos alpha and i'm going to cross multiply so this is sine theta times cos alpha is equal to cos theta times sine alpha so bringing this to this side so this becomes sine theta times cos alpha cos alpha minus cos theta times sine alpha is equal to zero now this should be a familiar form of sine a minus b a compound angle formula i've got this formula here i've hidden it here so look at this formula and what does it say the compound angle formula is let me scroll it up okay <laughs> so you can compare if you look at the right hand side you can compare your a with theta and b with alpha so here this if you look backwards from this i can say therefore so if it's a plus here you have got a plus here and if you got a minus you got a minus so if you compare this with this sine c a as theta and b as alpha so sine theta cos alpha sine a cos b minus cos theta sine alpha cos a sine b can be written as sine a minus b which is theta minus alpha is equal to zero okay now when is sine zero so let me draw a sine graph okay a sine graph is let me draw it very fast sine is when is sine zero sine is zero at zero sine starts at zero so this is your sine graph so this is zero pi by two pi three pi by two and two pi okay this is two pi this is pi so if you draw the sine curve sine starts at zero zero reaches the maximum at pi by two this is baseline so you can say sine is sine is zero at zero at zero pi then at one pi and at two pi okay i hope you understand this not a good graph so i know let me write that sine x if sine x is equal to zero from this graph i can say x is 0 pi that is 0 
1 pi, 2 pi, and 3 pi, and so on. And if you go anticlockwise, x can also be written as 0 pi, minus 1 pi, minus 2 pi, and so on. So if you want to generalize this, I can say x is equal to n pi, where n belongs to z. Can you see that? This is a general way of writing. You have to write n pi, where n stands for all integers, positive and negative, and of course 0 is there. So using the same principle, I can say theta minus alpha should be equal to n pi, where n belongs to z. Now if you add alpha to both sides, therefore theta is n pi plus alpha, where n belongs to z. So this is a general solution when theta, tan theta can be expressed as tan alpha. So let's take an example to illustrate how can we use this in real life or in examples. So if you've got an example like this, say tan 2 theta is equal to, say, root 3. Now root 3, you should know that tan 60 is, uh, so tan 60 is pi by 3. Oh, I should not write 60. We are talking in radians. So tan pi by 3, tan pi by 3 is uh, root 3, okay? I, of course, this can also be written in terms of, this is in terms of degrees can be written as theta is 180n plus alpha, where n belongs. Let's do in degrees because it's easier for you to see in degrees. Okay, the same thing, pi is 180. So this, if you want to change this into uh, degrees, is same as 180n plus alpha, just to check our answer. And I will also show you how to graph this. So this is, so let us change this into, it's easy, life becomes easier. So tan 60. Okay, so I can say tan to theta is equal to tan 60. Okay, so using this formula, I can say 2 theta is equal to 180 n plus alpha. What's your alpha here? Alpha is 60. So now dividing by 2 theta is 180, uh, sorry, 180 divided by 2 is 90. So it's 90 n plus 30. So this is your general solution. So I can say if, if n is 0, theta 1 or theta, uh, theta 1, if you put 0, that is 30. Okay. If n is 1, theta 2 is 90 times 1 is 90 plus 30 is 120. If n is 2, theta 2 is 90 times 2 is 180 times 30 is 210, we'll go up to 360. When n is 3, theta, this is theta 3, theta 4 would be 90 times 3 is 270 plus 300. So from 0 to 360, you have four solutions. Then 10 theta is equal, 10 2 theta is root 3. So I'll show this on a calculator. So you, my, I to go and change the setting to first degrees, it's in degrees, and I'll tap, type in 10 bracket 2x like this. So this is your graph. You have to look up your settings. The setting is 0 to 360. So I want to find where does the function become root 3. So I go G solve and X calc when is your Y value is root 3. So the first value is 30. Okay, let me show you the value, other values. Okay, so let me bring this back. So one, the first value is 30. So if you scroll, you get 120, 210, and finally 300. 
So this is a fast way of solving equation if you know the general, general formula or the general solution.